Okay. Hello. We are here to talk about the Spread the Word to End the Word campaign. This is part of the Special Olympics. Special Olympics are for people with disabilities, either physical or mental disabilities. They, it was founded in 1968, and last year they had thousands of people participate from all over the world. They started the R Word campaign a few years ago. So, a long time ago, the word retard was used to describe people with disabilities. This word is no longer acceptable, although many people use it to describe something they think is stupid or something they don't like. And so that's where the R word campaign is. What we want to do is have people stop using it in their everyday language because it hurts people's feelings. So this is really just about being nice to people with disabilities. And if you want to be nice to people with disabilities, then you should stop saying the word retard or retarded. So tomorrow, or I guess it's today when you're watching this, <laughs> March 2nd, is, is Spread the Word to End the Word Day. And so you can go to www.r- that's a line for you people who don't know, word.org and take the pledge to stop using the R word. So this is very personal to me. Obviously I have a daughter with Down Syndrome. Her name is Bliss. She's right there. <laughs> Hi Bliss! So uh, Down Syndrome, if you don't know, it's where you have three copies of the 21st chromosome. Everybody in the world has two pairs, or two chromosomes, so we have 46. We have 23 from our moms and 23 from our dads. But people with Down syndrome got an extra copy of the 21st chromosome. And it was named Down syndrome after a doctor named John Langdon Down. He was an English doctor in the 1800s, and he's the first one to sort of describe what people with Down syndrome look like. We didn't know it was 321 chromosomes until the 70s when a doctor in France found that out. And here is Miss Hansen. Hi everybody, I'm Miss Hansen. Um, one thing to know about Down syndrome is instead of saying um, this is a Down's person or um, this is my Down sister, we instead say my sister who has Down syndrome um, or somebody else who has Down syndrome. Um, it's just more polite to say it that way. And it's also personal for me because my kid sister, or my baby sister, Andy, has Down syndrome. She's actually 15 years old, so she's just one year, old, one year older than all of my eighth graders that I teach. Um, though she looks like she's about three, uh, third or fourth grade, so she's really, really tiny. Um, and she's just the sweetest thing in the entire world. She loves music, just like Bliss. Um, and she loves to play with string and streamers um, and my hair. She loves to play with my hair and just flick my hair for hours, which I love because I love when people play with my hair. Um, and she loves Disney movies, and so she will sit and she will watch Disney movies over and over and over again, sometimes the same scene. Um, and she will sing the songs and she will get up and dance um, and go crazy and then just laugh at herself. She, she's the sweetest thing. She knows when you're sad and she'll come over and give you a hug. Um, she doesn't talk very much. She's still learning how to talk, but she can say my name. So I know when she's saying my name and she makes faces across the dinner table at me just to make me laugh, um, which is hilarious because she'll just lick her plate all of a sudden. So um, she's really, really cute and uh, our family would not be the same if we didn't have her in it.